All right, so I know I said that I was happy with the way that it took dye on the turkey eggshell. Um, I kind of changed my mind, so it turns out that the sanded turkey eggshell still has a, a fair amount of sheen on it that doesn't always take dye super regularly. So what I ended up doing with this, um, because it was still full, so I needed to empty it anyways, so I etched it in vinegar um, to take it down a level and remove the outer shiny layer. Um, and then I emptied out, drilled a hole, blew it out into the compost, uh, let it dry for a couple of days. Um, and then I realized that I kind of liked some of the white. Um, and I thought that there would be a little bit more differentiation between the waxed in parts of the top shell that were, I thought it was gonna be more like a brown chicken egg. And it, it wasn't. The white, the difference between the white and the speckled, speckled quote marks um outside layer of the shell is very very subtle um you can see it if you hold it up to light um but it is very subtle on this one so then there's um there's a little bit more white fill that wasn't that wasn't there before uh same thing on this side i added in some more white fill um wax that over then dyed it back in the brick again Got this, and now this has been varnished. Um, and what I used for this was the One Shot, which is this stuff except in a can rather than in the spray bottle. And dipped it. You know, stick a, I have to drill my hole a little bit bigger. Stick a dowel in it, put it in the dye, dip it, roll it around. Give it a little spin and let all of that come off. So this has been, it's a few days varnished. So it is, it is dry, it's not fully cured. So I'm not gonna keep handling it too much more. I'm going to put it back on its little skewer as a beautiful Pisenka lollipop and let it continue curing. And then it will be ready um, for possibly for a new home. So that is how this one ended up turning out.